Hi. Hi, Blanca. Hi, Gonzalo. Hi, Dinora. Galileo, hello. How are Hi, you teacher. guys? Hello, teacher. I'm Hi. here. Nice to see you, teacher. <laughs> nice to see you too, Galileo. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're almost finishing. All right. We can do it. All right. <laughs> Very good. You're here in San Salvador today, Galileo, or you are in Usulután? Oh, I'm here in San Salvador. Okay, very good. All right. How was your day today, Galileo? Good, super good. Excellent. Uh, a, little, a little tired, but uh, good. <laughs> but good. All right, that's good. All right, very good. Gonzalo, how about you? How was your day today, Gonzalo? Very good today. Okay. All right. Was it a busy day, Gonzalo? A little busy. Yeah. Okay. That's why I'm happy right now. <laughs> True. <laughs> All right. Very good, ah, Gonzalo. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. I'm Blanca, how was your day today? Everything okay, Blanca? Good. Good? Okay. Good. Nice. <laughs> very good. And Dinora, I can't see you. Where are you? Where's Dinora? She's hiding. All right. Hi, Luis Alfonso. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Luis teacher. Alfonso. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine. How are you? I am fine. Fine. I'm okay, Dinora. Happy to see you. Happy to have you in class. Hi, teacher. Jose Eduardo, hello. How are you? Everything okay, Jose Eduardo? Uh, how, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. fine. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Very good, Jose Eduardo. Very good. Ajá, Luis Alfonso, ¿dónde es que está? Que está tan soleado, Luis Alfonso. It's so sunny in your city. In Australia, teacher. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very, very far away. All right. With the kangaroos and the koalas. Kangaroos and koalas. Yes. Oh, interesting. Very good. Uh, uh -huh. uh, two, two fired. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Hi, Luis Manuel. Hi, teacher. Good Hi. evening. Good evening. How are you today, Luis Manuel? Um, I'm fine, teacher. Okay. All right. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Luis Manuel. A lot going on, huh, Luis Manuel, in the news? Um, Many things happening. Um, uh, the second uh, session, session. Session, yes. Uh, in the Congress. Uh huh. Uh, problem with uh, a diplomatic. Oh. All right. Uh, uh, in El Salvador. Uh -huh. The diplomats in El Salvador. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. And, and other things. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and many <laughs> things, Luis Manuel. Very good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So the second session already finished? Or is it? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know because my. Uh, I, I don't know how do you say turno. Your shift. Uh, and my chief uh, finished. Ah, okay. Uh, right. Because I, 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 I need to start a class very uh, early. Okay. And, and so uh, that's the reason because right. I start, I start uh, work at uh, five o'clock. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I see. All right, Luis Manuel. Very good. Interesting. Thank you, Luis Manuel. Thank you for being in class too. All right. Then we have Judith. Hi, Judith. Hi, Alfredo. Hi, William. Very good. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's take attendance right now. Today is May 5th. Okay. So we have Alex Humberto Saldaña, Ana Beatriz Pineda Almedo, 
Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Present. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. All right, very good. That's okay, Carlos. Very good. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Yeah. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present teacher. Edwin Balmore Flores Gomez. Hey, no Edwin today, right now. Oh, no. Elmer Ubaldo Ramirez Cruz. Present. Francisca Elizabeth Martinez Gámez. Gonzalo Valle Valle. Present teacher. Jose Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Present teacher. Jose Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. Present teacher. Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Lizette Quintana Mancía. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. William Mauricio González García. I'm here. Yolanda Melanie Perez Enriquez. Ada Karina Cruz García. And we have Ana Karin Lopez. Uh, sorry, Ana Karin Solis Lopez. Very good. Hi, Olga. Hi, Beatriz. Hi, good evening. Good evening. All right. Hi, good evening. Good. Hi, Bea. How was your day today, Bea? Good. Good. All right. Very yeah. nice. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Very good. All right, guys. Let's see who's texting right now from the group. Alex. <gasps> Alex. Oh, no, Alex. What happened? He has to be in class. All right. Very good, guys. So yesterday we were talking a little bit about would like to. Okay. Um, we were talking about would like to, and we said that would like to is a uh, of, um, how do you call it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Ana, oh my gosh. Es que tengo los adverbios de frecuencia del otro grupo. I'm sorry, guys. Luis Alfonso, ayúdeme. Ajá, es una expresión. ¿Qué? Come on, guys. Excuse me. Una expresión modo moral. Excellent. Very good. A model expression. Yeah, very good. Okay, so we're using modal verbs or modal expressions. Okay. So, would like to is together. No lo podemos separar. Yo no puedo decir, I would like, si usted dice, I would like pizza, it's okay. Pero pizza no es un verbo. A usted dice, I would like a cookie, okay, but cookie is not a verb. I would like a car, sure, but car is not a verb, okay? So, si le quito el tú, all right, they would like to, entonces yo puedo usar, puedo me gustaría una computadora, un carro, una pizza, una galleta, una soda, un sorbete, whatever, ¿ok? Pero si ocupo el verbo, entonces I would need, would like to eat, would like to uh, drink, would like to have a new car, would like to learn a new language, would like to sleep right now, would like to eat supper right now, Galileo, all right? So whatever the, those sentences are, when you use would like to, me sigue un verbo de acción, okay? Aprendimos ayer, all right, que cuando usted dice would like to, o ocupa la uh, modal expression would like to, if we talk about he or she, no changes, nothing changes. Okay, so we say she would like to go, she would like to eat, she would like to spend time with her family. All right, so en ese caso no vamos a usar ningún, ningún S, ninguna S o ningún cambio dentro del verbo para tercera persona singular. Hi, Carlos Antonio, welcome to class. All right, ahorita lo pongo que está en clase. Excellent, Carlos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being in class. All right. También decíamos, eh, when we say negative, when we use negative um, sentences, we use, vamos a usar don't, doesn't, or solo not. What are we going to use? Just only not. 
Only not. Mm -hmm. After what? After what? Very good. So you say Galileo, Galileo wouldn't like to miss the class. All right. He wouldn't like to. All right. He wouldn't like to miss the class. He wouldn't like to. Uh, I don't know. He wouldn't like. He wouldn't. What else you wouldn't like to do, Galileo? I. I don't. Uh, I don't like fly. You wouldn't like to fly. No. Pero quiere tirarse del cosito ese. ¿Cómo yeah. Se llama? <laughs> That's yeah. worse. Because it's a, it's a big that challenge. Don't have logic. It. You yeah. Like, yeah. It doesn't it have logic. Galileo, like, yeah. I'm sorry, but yeah. that doesn't no. make any sense. I need. I need to explain it. Aha! Uh -huh, explain it. Go ahead. Okay. When I have a, a challenger. A challenge? A challenge. I need to confront it. Okay. To, uh, para vencerlo. Ah, to overcome it. Overcome. To overcome the challenge, all right? Yeah. Uh, that is the reason why I, mm. I would like to. Galileo, uh, that is the reason or that's why, Galileo. Como decimos, se acuerda? Uh, I remember, but I <laughs> I know you. That's why? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, pero esa es la razón por la que no quiero hacer eso porque mm. me da miedo volar y me da miedo estar en el aire. Ay no, pero eso es quiero vencerlo. Mm. Okay. Quiero vencer eso. Right. Okay, sure. Enfrentarlo <laughs> y vencerlo. Ese miedo. Okay. okay, interesting. All right, very good. Okay, so. We say that when it's negative, we're going to use not, okay? También decíamos que we can make questions, all right? Would you like to go with me? Would you like to keep on studying English? Would you like to uh, learn another language after English, all right? So I can ask questions using would like to. Would you like to? Ahora, si yo le hago una pregunta sobre alguien más, would he like to? Would she like to? Regáleme un segundito, please, guys. Thank you. All right, so we have wouldn't like to, I'm sorry, okay? And then we can ask questions, okay? Ahora, ¿se acuerdan que ayer también decíamos, si usted hace la pregunta, would you like to travel? What is the way to answer? What is the affirmative way? Carlos Antonio, si yo le digo, Carlos Antonio, would you like to uh, study more English? What is your answer? Yes, I would. In affirmative. Yes, uh -huh. yes, I would like to. Excellent. Yes, I would like to. Very good. And if it's negative, um, Judith, what would be the answer? No, I won't like to. Say it again, Judith. No, I wouldn't like to. Yes, very good. No, I wouldn't <laughs> like to. <laughs> that's okay, Anna. You did all right. Very good. Okay, so that's what we were studying yesterday. Okay, Carlita. Hello, Carla. I Hi, see teacher. that you're with your baby. All right, hold on, Carla. All right, very good. Okay, so let's continue, guys, with this. So let me just get to the page that we're supposed to be in. All right, so we have. Okay, so ayer nos quedamos en el report a problem using would like to, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay, let me see here. So we have, yeah, we did the conversation. Okay, okay, this is what I want you to do right now, guys. I want you to think about three machines, for example. Um, a computer, a fax machine, a printer, 
a telephone, a scanner, all right? Think about the machinery or the um, tools or gadgets that you have at your job, right? At your workplace. Okay, what else do you have? Okay, tenemos computadoras. Puede ser que tengamos laptops or that we have desktops, all right? So a laptop computer or a desktop computer. The desktop is the one that you put on your desk and the laptop is the one that you carry with you, all right? Maybe you have a tablet, maybe you have a printer, maybe you have a scanner, a fax machine, all right? I don't know, you think, all right? Write three pieces of equipment that you have in your job. Right now, please. All right, finished? Yes, Galileo finished, Blanca finished. Carlos Escobar, uh, Carlos Escobar William, Olga, Gonzalo finished. Yes, Bea, Ana, Karina, all right, Carlos Alfredo, yes, Carlita, Jose Eduardo, Luis Manuel, Luis Alfonso, Elmer. Teacher, I'm manejando. Okay, Karina, that's okay. Cuando llegue a su casita, nos avisa, please. All right, okay, so let's see, Galileo. Bye. Tell us your three pieces of equipment that you have at your job. Most common equipment in my job is laptop, mm -hmm. printer, and scanner. Okay, very good. Judith, in your job? The same. <laughs> the same? Desktop, uh, scanner. Mm -hmm. And I think the telephone. The oh, telephone. telephone. Okay. Telephone. All right. And I'm not, not a cell phone, but a telephone. All right. Very good. What about Carlos, uh, Carlos Antonio in your work? What do you have? What are the three pieces of equipment that you have? U UPS. Ah, okay. Phone. Okay. And laptop. Okay. All right. Very good. Olga, in your job, what do you have? The computer. The the uh. Se me a photocopiadora. A photocopy machine. A photocopy machine. Mm -hmm. And scanner. Okay, very good, thank you. All right, let me see. Luis Alfonso, what about you? Okay, teacher, uh, number one, my fax is without field paper. My laptop, uh, the battery, uh, the battery don't charge. Ah, Luis, usted ya se me adelantó el ejercicio, pero está bien, all right. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> no se preocupe, it's okay, Luis Alfonso. All right. My, my scanner is not programmer. Not ah, programmer. okay, very good. Okay, that's okay, Luis. Thank you. Let's see. And the last one, let me see. Bea, what about the three pieces of equipment that you have in your office? A printer, scanner, calculator. Oh, very good. Okay, a calculator. Very good. Okay, very good. So let's see here. What are we going to do? Los voy a llevar al manual ahorita. All right, so we see it here. 
So it says here, okay, reporting a problem to tech support over the phone. We're not going to do this exactly, but we're going to do it similar. Work with a classmate, okay? Write three problems for each piece of equipment, okay? Add the name of a piece of equipment in your work using the diagram in page 41. Ya lo vamos a ver en la página que sigue. And then you're going to practice reporting a problem. So here, this is what I want you to do. Eso es lo que vamos a trabajar ahorita. Page 41. Si usted tiene el manual impreso, lo puede llenar ahí. Si no lo tiene impreso, solo lo pone en el cuaderno. For example, usted pone fax machine, laptop computer, and printer. ¿Ok? Obviamente, o lo más probable que muchos de ustedes van a tener los mismos aparatos, digamos, u otros no, no importa. La idea es que nos ayudemos mutuamente. Think about the possible, three possible problems about each um, equipment. For example, if I have here, I'm just going to write it down here. If in number one I have, if in number one I have printer, okay, so that is the, that is the, piece of equipment. What happened to the printer? Entonces con Judith vamos a pensar los posibles problemas, the possible problems that we can have. Three problems per item here. All right? Luego pasan, terminamos ahí, luego tenemos fax machine, si usted gusta, igual con Judith vamos a pensar in three problems, possible problems, and here we have a uh, a uh, laptop computer, all right? Si en caso estas tres son iguales entre Judith y yo, pero de repente ella puso, no sé, calculator, así como Beatriz, lo pueden igual poner y ver what are the possible problems using with the calculator, all right? Do you understand? Ahorita no vamos a hacer ninguna conversación solo. Es co eh, entre los dos se dicen las pieces of equipment and three possible problems for each piece of equipment okay all right guys yes you understand okay perfect. okay so i'm gonna send you right now to your groups so you can work on that i think oh yeah dinora galileo and carla marisol <laughs> you guys are working together thank you thank you Hi, Eli. Your microphone, Eli. Your mic. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay, Eli. Hi. How are you? Good. And Good. You? I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> a long day, Eli. <laughs> it's been a very long day. A ver, Eli, right now your classmates are working on this. Le comparto la pantalla, Eli. We are working. What happened? With what, Eli? What happened today? A long day, with many my, meetings. My partner. Ah, no, 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 no. Están en, están en grupo. Están trabajando. Ah, okay. <laughs> Usted dijo solo dos. <laughs> sí. No, Eli. A ver, sí. todos están trabajando ya. Están trabajando en la página 41, Eli. Ok. Eh, la idea es que... Mm -hmm o piensa en tres pieces of equipment que usted tiene en la office, like maybe a computer or a laptop computer, a photocopy machine or a fax machine, okay? So you choose three. But for each item, you have to think about three possible problems, Ellie. okay? Yeah. All right, so that's what they are doing right now. Se acaban de ir a los grupos, o sea, ahorita la mando y no hay ningún problema, Ellie. okay? Okay. Hold on. All right. I'm going to send you to 
I'm going to send you to number four. All right. Okay, Ali. Thank you.
Or without, <laughs> without configuration. Configuration. Software. Desconfiguration software. ¿Y ustedes tres qué hicieron para estar juntos? Ah, alguien nos unió, <risa> alguien nos unió. Ya vamos a ver quién. <risa> it wasn't me, it's the computer. Ah, really? Yeah, the computer does it. Ay, 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 pero sí, aquí estoy muy feliz viendo a la nena. Yeah, I know. Ariana. Eh. Where is the pizza, <risa> Carlita? Que quiere pizza, dice Ariana. Of course, me too. Es me too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look, she has a pacifier. We we was talking with Ariana. Yeah, were you? Hola decile. Hola decile. Hi. Hi Ariana. How are you? Wow. Cuánta belleza unida en un solo. <laughs> Bueno. Hola. Mira, Hello. Hola, Ariana. How are you? I, I love her chubby cheeks. Uh, she's very beautiful. I know. When I see babies, just, I mean, I just want to have another one, but they're too much work. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. I have enough. Ya no quiere ir usted. Um, if I would have money, Galileo, on time, I would, but, <laughs> but no time and not much money, so no, it's too expensive. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Michelle, we have three equipment. Okay. Three most common equipment in our office. Okay. And, and three uh, frequency problem with each equipment okay what are they what are the equipment for example, what are the problems uh-huh for example laptop mm -hmm. is the equipment the problem are internet access okay sometimes we don't have uh internet access yeah it is uh more or less frequency okay uh but it's other um the last one is slower access in my case in my laptop mm. uh, sometimes slower access it's okay. yeah okay so, uh, the last one is uh in the laptop without battery charge charge oh, okay. no yeah. Si es okay. charge yeah okay yep it's fine uh, dinora yeah. printer dinora Printer, stack the paper. On oh, the papers is stuck. And okay. the board doesn't work in well. Okay. Oh, okay. And the printer uh, without a toner. Oh, okay. Without tinta, ink. Tinta, ink? Como se dice? ink. Empty card fresh. Also, ink. yes, ink is ink. tinta or mm -hmm. empty cartridge is like está vacío el cartucho. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it for printer. Okay. Carlita, scanner, Carlita. Huh? Carlita is missing, I think. Yeah. Oh. Yes, sorry, <laughs> Estábamos viendo la desconfiguration software, no sé cómo se dice, teacher. Ok, yeah, it's ok, ajá. Ajá, este, solo esa noche. Bad connection en <laughs> Stock Paper 2. Ah, okay. lo del puerto. Uh -huh. All right, ok, very good. Interesting, very good. Ok. So, when are we meeting again? I'm sorry. When are we meeting all again? I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> That's okay. Dinora, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, meeting, reunion, again. Uh-huh, again. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Galileo. What's wrong with you today? Yeah. No, it's so, so fast, teacher. Smart, slow, fast, it's Galileo. Slow. Come on, but you speak fast too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, uh, 
Galileo, do you, do you know the expression, hold your horses? Yeah. Okay. So you can say yeah, that to I me and say, teacher, hold your horses. You're speaking too fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have teacher, to say, uh, I, yes. I don't, I, I don't remember your correction to me about that is the uh, reason why. That's why. That's, that's why. why. Uh huh. Ese es el por qué. Sí. Uh, uh, Ajá. Si usted dice that's the reason, es como bien traducido. Ajá. Uh -huh. O sea, lo que queremos that's decir es por eso. Simple. Esa es la razón. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's why. That's why. Yeah, it's yeah. really short. Yep, it's easy. better. Easy to write down, but doesn't easy to. To say it, to remember it, okay, <laughs> I know. But you have to practice with Dinora in the office. She, she does and practice with me, teacher. Really, Dinora? What happened? Because I was occupied contesting the emails in English. You teacher. were busy answering yeah. <laughs> the, the emails. All right. Ah, okay. And Galileo is talking, talking, talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, he's I, only I, speaking in Spanish, <gasps> and I don't understand in Spanish. Oh my goodness! There you go. <laughs> I, I, I say, I say, Dinora. I say to Dinora, when you answer a, an email, you must answer just only two or three lines. Oh, it, that's it. Just only because when we. We want uh, explain a lot. Mm -hmm. gringo no, entiende. no, no, you have to be very precise and very concise. Yeah, direct yeah. to the point. Una, one line or two lines, the, that's the it. email, yeah, that's it. Yeah, todo felices. Galileo, <laughs> do you know the expression, and Dinora and Carlita, do you know the expression don't beat around the bush? No. Oh. Okay. No, it's don't like al grano. Al grano, no le vuelta. Don't beat around the bush. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't beat around the bush. No, direct. All right, that's an idiom, mm -hmm. Galileo. Yeah. I'll help you out. All right. Yeah, the, 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 the people, the North American people, are uh, to the point. I know they are always to the point. Yes. Yeah. Two, three words. And, and that's that is it. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Very good. All right, guys, let's go back so we can share the um, the uh, exercise, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. Olga, tell me one equipment and the three problems, Olga. And the uh, photocopier. The photocopy machine, uh -huh. what's the problem? Don't, uh, ink? Doesn't, doesn't have ink. Doesn't have ink. Doesn't have ink, uh -huh. the, uh, the paper jam. Oh, very good, the paper jammed, very good, yes. And the, aquí tengo un poco de duda porque the socket, the socket electrical no power. Electric uh, no okay. uh -huh, uh -huh. there's no electricity on the on the socket. Very good, yeah. Okay. All right, very good. We got very well done. Thank you. All right, let me see. Um Luis Manuel, I think you were working with Blanca and Ellie, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell us, tell us yes. one one equipment one piece of equipment and the three problems please uh, for example wi-fi uh-huh uh, bad connection okay uh, disconfiguring okay all right so um, that's for a laptop uh manuel or a computer no in computer uh, it's something okay uh, something uh-huh all right. And, and, 
slow system. All right, yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's see. Thank you, Luis Manuel. Thank you, Eli and Blanca. Very good. Luis Alfonso, you were working with Beatriz. All right, what is the piece of equipment, Luis Alfonso? Sorry, teacher. Uh, Ana Beatriz. Yes. Calculate. 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 Calculator? Calculator. Uh huh. Uh, the problem is solar cell doesn't work. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Another problem, Luis or Beatriz? The plus K is a stuck. Oh, my goodness. The okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, the case is stuck. Very good. Okay, what's the other problem? Uh, uh, Turn off and on. Oh, it flickers. What uh -huh. happens? Yes, it flickers? yes, sir. Yeah, it goes yes, on. Sir. Right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, flickering light. Okay, cool. Yes, sir. Nice. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Bea. Thank you, Luis Alfonso. Let's see. William Mauricio, who are you working with? Okay, teacher. System, I, uh, printer, no toner. Okay. Frozen, frozen printer. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. Paper is stuck. A uh, paper is stuck. Stuck. Ah. Um, tablet. Uh -huh. No inter access. Uh, okay. A virus. A virus. A virus. A, vi a virus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Sacos programming. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay, very the, good. The stock, the stock new software. Okay. Only noise in the CPU. Okay. CPU. In the U and the CPU. CPU. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See you know. Yeah. Uh huh. It's okay. <laughs> okay. The term. Excel off. Oh, okay. All right. It turns itself off. All right. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Um, Elmer, who did you work with, Elmer? Huh? Elmer, Elmer, who did you work with? Está por ahí? Con... Ana. Ana Judith. Ana Solis. Ah, with Ana. Okay, all right. Very good, Elmer. Tell us the problem, please. In, in my place, any mm -hmm. problem with the Ana place, it he said the the PC uh -huh. doesn't um, the computer. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, okay. So doesn't actualize the software. It doesn't update. Oh, it doesn't update the software. Very good. Uh, and and doesn't have a Connecting the internet. Okay. It uh, had a re, had a check the line to connect. Them. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Um. Uh, what about Dinora? Dinora, tell me one piece of equipment and the problems, please. Okay. Um. Printer. Mm -hmm. I took the paper. The paper is stuck. Uh huh. Um, part doesn't work well. Okay. And the and the printer um, I don't know, doesn't have ink. Okay. Empty right. ink. Then empty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Very good. So we have when you have um, pieces of equipment, all right, in your office, sometimes you have issues or we have problems. All right. Usually in the office, we have tech support. 
or you can call for tech support from the company that provided the equipment all right so you can call and say listen i have a problem with my internet all right and then you can give them the problem all right so let's, let's continue here guys with the next page of your book here another way ayer veíamos esto donde decíamos i would like to I would like to report a problem or I would like to report an issue or solo puede decir I have trouble with or I have a problem with, okay? So here, si se fija aquí en esta bubbles que están aquí, dice I have trouble with my Wi-Fi connection. I see, let's check the router first, okay? So they are checking the internet connection. Si se fija, the boy or the guy is not saying I would like to report a problem, solo dice I have a problem with my Wi-Fi, all right? But usually we say, I would like to report a problem, okay? Let's see here. Let's go on here, guys, with this. All right, it says, um, page 42, it says, um, report a problem using formal language. Cuando hablamos, por lo general en el trabajo, siempre usamos como un, un tono más formal. All right, so that's when we say, I would like to. Si se fija aquí, solo decía el muchacho decía I have a problem or I have a tr I have trouble. All right, that's okay. Pero si usted es como más, habla más formal o en el trabajo es como mucho más formal, usted va a decir I would like to report a problem. Let's see. Um, Carlos Alfredo, can you be Mike? And Carlos Antonio, can you be Maria, please? The two Carlos. Okay. Let me see. And why? And Mike Hernandez, it is the department. Hello, my It is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. Mm -hmm. What is the problem, Mrs. Mrs. Ochoa? I doesn't seem to be working and it's may, making mm -hmm. making a, a strange noise. Mm -hmm. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you come some to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's see. William, you're going to be Mike. And Judith, you're going to be Maria. Okay. My Hernandez, it's the parliament. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my pr printer. What is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it is making a strange noise. Is there a mess message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would like to, I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I will be there right away. Excellent. Thank you. All right, Galileo, you're going to be Mike and Ellie, you're going to be Maria. Okay, teacher. Mike Hernandez. IT department. Hello, ma'am. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. Would like to report a problem with my printer. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yes, Galileo. Okay. I have a connection unstable. Oh, that's okay. okay. I Mike, understand. What is the problem? What is the problem, Mr. Choa? It doesn't seem to be working and 
and is making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it's a service. Also, there is a red light. There is a red light on the error button. Mm -hmm. I would like you to come some to check it, to check it. Mm -hmm. Very good. I see. I'll be there right, right away. All right, perfect, guys. Thank you. All right, so now we're gonna. I'm gonna read the the conversation so you can listen. All right. Mike says, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Okay. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. All right. So that is the conversation. Okay. Revise for pronunciation and vocabulary. Questions, let me know. Richard? Yes, Luis Alfonso. Please, uh, pronunciation error button, button, uh, button. Yes, error button. Button. Button, okay. uh huh. Okay, thank you. All right, error button, uh huh. Another one? Mm, what is the stream? Ah, a strange noise. Mm -hmm. Es como un, un sonido extraño, un sonido raro. Mm -hmm. Strange is est extraño o raro, and noise is sonido o ruido. Mm -hmm. Noise, yes. Okay. Very good. What else, guys? Mm -hmm. What is the red light on the... Uh, there is a red light, es una luz roja, a red mm. light, uh -huh, on the error button, okay. A ver, la, thank you, Eli. La expresión, I'll be there right away, do we understand right away? Yes, teacher. Okay, right away is immediately, in this moment, okay. I want you to tell me right away the answer, okay, very good, okay. So, again, guys, ahí si se fija, estamos usando otra vez, I would like to, all right, report a problem with my printer, okay? Uh, okay, a ver, eh, donde dice Mike, is there a message? Message es mensaje, masaje es masaje. Very different, okay? Message, en este caso es message, all right? Now, Maria says, yes, all right, it says. No decimos seis, all right, o no decimos seis nada más, says. Ella, o oh, oh, perdón, en este caso esto, o oh, la, la, el panel de control dice service, says. Ok, yo puedo decir, uh, por ejemplo, yo puedo decir Luis Manuel dice qué tal cosa. Luis Manuel says, porque es tercera persona singular says that's the pronunciation okay it says then we have message we have a strange noise no es nose verdad nose is this one noise is sonido or ruido and then you have button all right and then right away okay no more questions about vocabulary no more questions about pronunciation no okay perfect okay here Use, I mean, complete the sentences below. Use the conversation to help yourself. Number one. ¿Quién me lee la número uno ya con? Mi teacher. Thank you. All right. Tell me, read number one. Complete, please. Uh, <laughs> complete? Yeah, like, like number one. <laughs> Toda. I would like to report, I would like to report this. Yes. Issue. I... Issue. 
Yeah, very good, Elizabeth. I would like to, no, no, me, no me omita el tú. I would like to report this issue. All right, very good. All right, and I William. Okay. okay teacher. Yeah, number I two. Like, I would like to fix this. I would like to fix this, or I would like you to fix it. I would like. No, I would like to fix this. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, si se fijan acá, vamos a regresar aquí arriba. All right. Aquí. Uh, okay. It's okay. Usted, cuando usted dice, like me gustaría uh, ir. All right. I would like to go. Okay. All right. But you can say, I would like you to come with me. All right. I would like you. To come, ahí dividimos, separamos el would like con el to, porque pongo en medio de ambos un pronoun, ¿ok? I would like you to come with me. I would like him to fix it, ¿ok? It's an object pronoun, se llama eso, ¿ok? Entonces, si ¿sí puedo interrumpir o separar el I would like, o oh, perdón, el, yeah, el I would like to, o solo would like to, si yo quiero decir, me gustaría que él me ayude, me gustaría que ella viniera, me gustaría que nosotros fuéramos, a, me gustaría que ellos entendieran, all right? So I would like them to understand. Me, me, me siguen con la, la, la o sea, diferencia. Ahí sería, me gustaría estar contigo. ¿Me gustaría? A fix es, es, es car, no. A fix es arreglar. Entonces me gustaría arreglar contigo, si haría la, la No, la me gustaría que usted lo arregle. Ah. Ok, si yo le digo, William, I would like you to fix it, es me gustaría que usted lo arregle. Ok. Si yo le digo, I would like her to come with me, me gustaría que ella viniera conmigo. All right, yes. Entonces, separamos would like to... Y ponemos entre el like y el tú un, un object pronoun, que sería me, you, them, him, her. Ok, you understand that? Vamos entendiendo esa diferencia de lo que veníamos haciendo. Yes? Yes. So, so? Ya vamos a ver, paso a asistencia ahorita. I have a question. Ok, Eli, yes. I have a question. Yes, yes. In, in the number two. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, I would like, entonces ahí, ahí va a llevar un pronombre. Sí, un object pronoun. En el segundo. Uh -huh. I would y like, luego el tú. Yeah, I would like you or him or her to. Ok, y, Eli. This? Ah, this is esto. Okay. Eso, um, uh -huh, es esto. Es un demonstrative pronoun. Pero no, no entiendo qué quiere decir. Me, Me gustaría que usted o tú arregles esto. Esto ah, siendo la ah, computadora, la máquina, la impresora, la fotocopiadora, algo. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, sí. Yes, very good. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Dejo de compartir, tomo asistencia y después les pongo un ejercicio para ver si es cierto. Can we understand the difference between I would like to go? Yeah, I would like you to go with me. That's different. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Alex. Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodriguez. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Present. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejia. Present. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present teacher. Edwin Balmore Flores Gómez. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Elmer, Elmer. Present, present, present. Thank you, Elmer. Guys, remember to turn on your cameras, please. No se les olvide encender sus camaritas. I need to see you. Thank you. All right. Um, Francisca Elizabeth Martinez Gámez. 
Francisca Elizabeth. All right, Gonzalo Valle Valle. I am here. Sorry. <laughs> my microphone was off. Your microphone was off. That's okay. All right. Thank you, Gonzalo. Jose Eduardo Guzman Alvarez. I'm here, teacher. Jose Galileo Barrera Hernandez. Present, teacher. Present. All right. Thank you. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Present. Luis Alfonso Martinez Perez. Present teacher. All right, Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Luis, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hi, Luis. All right, Norma Lisette Quintana Mancia. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. Present. William Mauricio González García. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Yolanda Melanie Perez Enríquez. Ada Karina Cruz Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. And Ana Karin Solis Lopez. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good, guys. Okay. So, when we talk about, a ver, solo déjeme. Hmm, hmm. Vamos a escribir aquí. A ver. Oops, no. Deme un ratito aquí. You. Okay, let's see, guys. I want you to see this, okay? Les voy a compartir esto ahorita. I want you to see it, okay? A ver. In English, guys, we have we have um, subject pronouns. Cuando decimos subject pronouns, hablamos de I, you, he, she, we, they, el it y el you. All right. Esos son los subjects, los, los pronombres personales que nos podemos. I, you, we, they. All right. But we also have object pronouns. Se llaman object pronouns porque la acción recae en ellos. So, for I, I'm going to use me. For you, you're going to use you. Ese no cambia. Pero el significado es diferente. For he is him. For she is her. Eso serían pronombres, teacher. Prono uh, object pronouns. Object pronouns, William, ¿ok? For son we, pronombres. Son pronombres, pero objetos. Pronom like object pronouns in English, all right? We, it's us, and they is them. Quiere decir que esa acción que usted va a decir va a recaer en ese object pronoun, en, esa, en ese pronombre objeto. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, talk to me, hábleme, all right? Ese me es ese me. Talk to me. All right. Yo le digo, um, el típico I love you. All right. El I es el sujeto. I, yo hago la acción. Pero usted dice, te amo. ¿Quién? Yo le digo, te amo. Ese T es el you. I love you. Quiere decir que you no es un. Hay un micrófono encendido por ahí, perdón. Ok, thank you. All right. Entonces, cuando decimos I love you, la acción la realizo yo y recae sobre usted. O sea, I love you, you. All right. Um, no sé. Um, ayúdele a quién, a él. Help him. All right. Yo le digo, mírela a quién, a ella. See her. All right. Um, Let's see another one. Um, yo le puedo decir, él no nos habla. ¿A quiénes? Call a nosotros. Us. Yes. Uh -huh. He doesn't talk to us. Call us. Very good. Talk to them. All right. Entonces, quiere decir que estos que están acá se llaman object pronouns. En su momento lo van a ver con más detalle. ¿Por qué lo estoy trayendo a mención ahorita? Por el ejercicio que quiero que hagamos. Ok. Eh, voy a escribir acá. Igual, voy a seguir compartiendo en esa 
pantalla, pero ahorita. A ver, entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Quiero que me hagan oraciones usando I would like, eso es lo que estamos aprendiendo. Oops, I would like to, ok. Pero I would like to, I don't know, him. I would like to, tell me a verb, I cannot even think. Him, ah, excuse me? Swim him. I would like him. Swim. No, 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 wait, 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 ya voy, ya voy. I would like to swim. Eso es lo que hemos estado viendo ahorita. I would like to swim. Ah, sí. Ahí no pasa nada, ok. Ahora, otra cosa es decir, ahí dice me gustaría nadar. All right. I, I, would, like, I would like him like to swim. Ah, I would like him to, like swim, to swim with ah. my family. No va, teacher, va, yo estaba confundido. Ajá, uh -huh, dígame. Eh, este, el pronombre no va después de word. No, va después de like. Okay. All right. Okay. Entonces decimos, I would like him to swim with my family. Me gustaría que él nade con mi familia. All right. Por decir algo, I would like him. Entonces el pronombre objeto, el object pronoun que estamos viendo aquí. All right. Lo ponemos entre him y el tú. All right. Como en la oración que teníamos ahí decía... Ay, de repente uno se identifica con alguien que le puede ayudar siempre, ¿verdad? Entonces dice, ah, no, es que esa persona siempre me ayuda en el banco, me ayuda haciendo mi track, me ayuda cuando tengo un problema con internet, etcétera, o me ayuda, eh, ay me ayuda con la computadora o whatever, all right? Entonces, pero es que esto no me deja aquí. All right, entonces decimos, I would, I would like her to... Um, to fix my computer. All right. Es una como persona de confianza y dice, no, me gustaría que ella me ayude con mi computadora o me arregle mi computadora porque ella siempre la ha visto y ella me arregla mi computadora. I would like her, all right, to fix my computer. En ese caso, en el ejemplo del libro decía, to fix this. Ese this puede ser my computer y lo puedo reemplazar. Ok. Siempre estamos usando would like to, pero lo estamos separando por el him, por el her, me, you, us, them. Understand? Yes. All right. Ok. Entonces, quiero que hagamos, es, hágame dos oraciones usando cualquier object pronoun, ya sea him, me, you, them, us, no importa. Siempre con la estructura I would like to. Pero hoy sabe que lo va a separar el like con el tú y va a poner en medio un object pronoun. A ver cómo les queda. Hagamos eso, por favor. Two sentences. Ready. Everybody ready? Yes, very good, Galileo. Thank you, Ellie. Everybody else is finished? Yes. Excellent, guys. You guys are the best. Hold on.
And teacher, I am sorry that yes. I don't turn off the camera because my computer is busy when I turn off oh, okay. uh, a long time. Oh, all right. I understand. That's okay. Thank you for letting me know. All right. Very good. Don't worry about it. Hold on, guys. Just give me one second. Thank I need to check something. Okay. Hold on, guys, please. Okay, so here. I just want to see something. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. All right, so let's let's see here now. Let me see. All right, let's see. Um meet it. Okay. Tell me. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I would like her to clear the barroom. I would like you to go a meeting. I would like you to go to a meeting. Very good, William. Nice sentences. Thank you. Very good. Ellie, tell me your two sentences. I would like to him to travel to El Salvador. I would like to him to eat I would like to. The last one, the second one, Ellie. I would like to him to eat mother's pupusa. I would like him to eat the pupusa de mi mama. My mom's pupusas. All right, that's okay. Yes, I would like him to eat. Very good. I would like him to eat. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Yep, thank you. Uh, let me see. Um, Gonzalo, tell me your two sentences, Gonzalo. Okay. I would like him to bring me my car. Oh, okay. I would like her. I would like her to pass me the food down. <laughs> okay, all right, very good. Thank you. Let me see. Um I don't know. Jose Eduardo, tell me your sentences. I would like. Uh, um, vamos a ver, sería. I would like to go um, in Canada. I would like. Pero quién? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I would like. I go like, ¿cómo sería yo? With me. Eh, I, I am, I am me, ¿cómo es? I would like. I would like. Her to go to Canada. Okay. All right, I would like her to go to Canada. All right, very good. Okay, Carlos, thank you, Jose Eduardo, very good. I have a question. Yes, yes. Eli, tell me. Sorry. Cuando es. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. I would like, like her uh -huh. to travel with me. Uh -huh. Se puede decir with me, conmigo. Sí. ¿Sí? Después, después de decir, I would like her to yeah. travel with me. Sí. Es Aunque perfecto. Lleve... Sí, no, no, claro. Mm -hmm. Lo que pasa es que oh. en español decimos, me gustaría... Que ella fuera conmigo. No decimos. Lo que pasa es que en inglés es como bien repetitivo. I would like her to go with me. El I con el me. All right. No podemos mm -hmm. como omitirlo. Ok. Uh -huh. Porque un día también. Un día, un día yo leí un libro que decía. Un estudiante que estudia. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right. De hecho, en inglés, Eli, quien dijo marry me es José Eduardo. Yes, <laughs> All right. No, um, yeah, yo no, no, no. Lo que pasa que, no, lo que pasa es que en inglés es así. En español usted dice, eh, hoy fui a, a galerías y compré zapatos y luego fui a la casa de Ana y regresé a las 3 de la tarde. Okay, 
Pero en inglés decimos, I went to galerías, I bought a pair of shoes, I went to see my sister, I, y todo es I, 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 all right? Entonces, en in, in English es like that, pero sí, Eli, it's okay. Yeah. Porque, porque verdad que también dice, tengo una pregunta que preguntar. Ah, I have a question. <laughs> ¿Verdad que así dice? Yeah. Yo lo leí en un libro. <laughs> yes, Eli, it's okay, I have a question to ask, yeah. Ajá, right. ajá. Ajá. Ahora, okay. por eso, es, es como sería la traducción literal, ¿verdad? Ahora, cuando usted, cuando usted dice, I have a question to ask, no es, te, no es que esté malo, es simple, sencillamente está diciendo, tengo una pregunta. All right, pero ellos <laughs> dicen, I have a question to ask. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Yeah, nice. Okay, let's see, Galileo, tell me your two sentences. Yes, teacher. I would like her to come with me to the church. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Number two, I would like them to play football in my team. Oh, very good sentences. Very nice. Thank you. And Bea, can you tell me your two sentences, Bea? I did two, but I, I think that they are one because I, I could I could like como fue? I could like to have to have her car. So ah, can, but that, uh -huh, that's a possessive adjective, Bea. And the other one was, I would like to borrow your pencil. Uh -huh, that's a possessive adjective. All right. Uh -huh. It's another thing, right? Yes, it's another thing. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Acuérdese que tenemos subject pronouns, tenemos possessive pronouns, tenemos possessive, like, um, object pronouns, entonces todos esos forman parte dentro de una oración, pero diferente acción de cada uno. All right, so, so lo que estamos usando en ese caso se está basando un possessive one. Uh -huh. All right, which is okay. I mean, the sentence was okay. All right, but just different usage. Very good. Okay, and let's see. Luis, Ma Luis Martinez. Luis Martinez. Luis Alfonso. <laughs> es que no ha puesto Luis Alfonso ahora. Como no, teacher, lo que sucede es que me desconecté un momentito que tuve problemas. Entonces, por hacerlo rápido, ya no le cambié el nombre de nuevo. Ah, ok, Luis. Sí, a ver, Luis Alfonso. Ya estoy, ya estoy de nuevo. Excelente. Okay, teacher, yo inventé por aquí. Yo puse, <risa> uh, I would like them to audit me. Oh, very good. Very nice, okay, Luis. Uh -huh. uh, uh, sir, uh, the second sentence is, I would like her to take my order. Oh, very nice. Yes, perfect sentence, Luis. All right, Dave. Excellent. You're you're like very super. Okay, guys, let's continue here. Do you have any questions? No questions? No questions. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Luis. Eh, con el her mm -hmm. y el him. Sí. Cuando uno lo estudia ya por los años bien atrás, dicen su de, su de ella y su de él. Sí. Pero allí no lo estamos utilizando en ese término, ¿verdad? No, lo que pasa es que ese su de él y su de ella, Luis, es cuando dice his and her. Mm -hmm. Cuando yo le digo his car, lo que estaba haciendo Ana Beatriz. Ah, su. His car, su de él, su carro, ¿de quién? De él. Her, 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 her. Her, her boyfriend. Ajá, su de ella. Ajá. All right. Okay, ese es el posesivo. All right, All very right. Good. thank oh. you, teacher. You're very welcome. Right. <laughs> que ese es el object pronoun, ¿verdad? Entonces, el, el uso o el significado es diferente. All right. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, no more questions. Sí, sure. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Carlita. Yes. Este, como estamos viendo eso de me gusta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, pero también yo puedo decir de, de decir a mí me gusta tu camiseta. Ah, sí. I would like you the t-shirt. Ah, sí. no, no, eh, no. O sea, si usted dice me gusta tu camiseta, yo la veo a usted y le digo me gusta su blusa. Y usted dice I like your blouse. La mm. otra es me gustaría tener su blusa. Ay. Ah, right. eh, entonces el, el, el I would like es como, ay, no sé cómo expresarle lo que, lo que, cómo lo entiendo yo. Trate, trate, Carlita. Este, 
Vaya, por ejemplo, yo puse una oración Ajá. que di, puse la primera. I would like me drink the coffee. No sé si así va correcto. Porque lo que quiero decir es que a mí me gustaría o me gusta tomar café. Sí, pero en ese caso puede dejarla nada más. I would like to drink coffee. Me gustaría drink tomar coffee. café. Ajá. Drink coffee sin el de, ¿verdad? Sin el mi. Sin el mi. Ajá. I would like to drink coffee. Es la oración que hemos estado haciendo. Que son un poco pero, diferentes a las que les pedí que hicieran ahorita. Pero con estos urgent promo. Ajá. Podría ser, lo que eh, pasa es que no tendría sentido si usted dice, I would like me to drink the coffee. Es <ríe> como que si usted esté, se está auto hablando. Tienes que right. tomar, te, te tiene que gustar el café. Podría ser, I would like Judith, mm -hmm. o I would like, uh -huh, I would like her to drink coffee. Ah, All right, ok. okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, le gustaría que ella tomara el café que usted prepara para decir algo. Ah, ok. Te puede decir, I would like my boss to see my report. Y si su jefe o es jefe, sería, I would like him to see my report. Si su jefe es mm -hmm. mujer, I would like her to see my report. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ah, pues lo había entendido mal. <risa> All right, that's Porque okay. Puse, puse ah. otra, fíjese que hice tres oraciones. A ver, dígala. Puse, I would like hear the new shoes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hear. Que me gustan los zapatos de ella, los nuevos zapatos ah. de ella. Entonces, no sé qué si está ah, bien. En este caso, son las mismas oraciones, o parecidas, obviamente, a las oraciones que hizo Bea. Eh, pero ese es como... I would like to have her shoes. Me gustaría tener sus zapatos. ¿De quién? De ella. Diferente mm. decir me gustan los zapatos de ella. Eso es muy diferente. I like her shoes, shoes. Nada the... más her shoes. Ajá. Y es el, el her que decía don Luis. Perdón, Luis. <ríe> Luis Alfonso. Ahora right, que el día me regañó porque le he ido. All right. <ríe> So I would, you, you're very welcome, Luis. All right. So I would, I like her shoes is una cosa. I would like to have her shoes is otra. Ah, okay. okay. Ah, pues yo le estaba dando mal sentido al, al good like. Okay. Con el objetivo. Carlita, acuérdese, like. Esa, esa like. Yo like, sé. Like, Carlita. Yo voy a poner like. a cantar like, 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 like. All right, very good. Thank you, Carla. All right. Any other question, guys? No more questions? No, all right, so let's continue here then with your book. I would like you to be our teacher again. <laughs> Thank you, you did. All right, we'll see. <laughs> all right, that's a very good sentence actually. All right, so let's see here. How do you use would like to, okay? It says you would like to, to say what you want, especially when making offers and requests, okay? Singular. A ver, ¿quién me ayuda a leer singular, please? She. Me. Yes. She would, she would like to send the report today. Very good. She would like to send the reports today. Number two, Ellie. Um, singular. Yes, please. Yes. She would like to meet the new employees tonight okay very good now plural who wants thank you ellie who wants to read plural please someone to read the two plural sentences that we have me yes well, ben, thank you mm -hmm. i would like to speak to a supervisor okay sentence there the other one I'd like to ship this container tomorrow. We'd like to ship. Very good, Anna. Thank you. Thank you, Beatriz. Very good. We'd like to ship this container tomorrow, okay? Here, guys, they're talking about singular and we're talking about plural, all right? Si se fija, no changes. Would like to, she would like to, they would like to. He'd like to, we'd like to. This is singular, this is plural, but it's the same structure. Would like to, okay? So nothing happens here. Let me see here. I just want to see something. Okay. I don't know if Elmer is making a scribble here. 
All right, okay. Let's see, we have a couple of minutes. Yeah, we have like about half an hour. We're gonna do the following. Let's go here. I want you to do this right now. Read about principles qualities and answer the questions below, all right? Again, nos vamos a los grupos. La dinámica, all right, es leer cada alguien. Usted decide quién lee el primer párrafo, el segundo, el tercero, and the fourth one, okay? Please check pronunciation. Please check vocabulary. Please check understanding. Cuando terminen de leer, then you answer these questions, okay? Yes? Si en caso no tiene el manual, please take a picture of this right now. If you don't have the book. Y si gustan, lo pueden mandar al grupo para, para cualquier otro compañero que no lo tenga. Okay? And these are the questions. Estas serían. These are the questions. All right, finished? Yep, okay. So let's go to the groups. Please read the article, all right? Uh, igual, si encuentra palabras que no entiende o no sabe cómo pronunciarlas, eh, subrayelas o copielas aparte. And when we come back, we can check. Okay, let's go to the groups.
specific need for color and who print a lot of page. We'll think a black, ¿Qué fue, bebé? a black and white printer shipper to operate. Okay. Resolution. Printer resolution de sharpness of this and images on paper is usually Missouri in the docs. Así sería docs. ¿Cómo se ve? Docs. docs. Así como se ve. Docs per, docs. In, per inch. Per inch. Per inch. DPA, eh, most inexpensive printers provided sufficient resolution for most purpose. Al, no sé cómo se dice esos números. Six hundred. DPI. DPI. Eh. <laughs> Perdón, es que tiene sueño. Speed y Jude. Much printing the speed in the printer becomes import in expertise printer print only about three to six shades, que son de tres a seis hojas, ¿verdad? Sí. Four minutes, color yeah, printer, minute. minute. Per minute. Color printing is lower, more expensive. Printer in are so much tester, <laughs> faster ever. Faster. Uh -huh. In memory, most printer come with a small amount of memory. For example, perdón, perdón, perdón. Termina usted de leer o lo vuelve a leer usted para oír yo. Okay, leámoslo, así aprendemos todo. Bye. Color. Color is important for users who need to print page for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one, one color and one black ink. That needs to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need uh, for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Printer resolution. The sharpness of text and image on paper is usually measured in dots per inch. DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient res resolution for most purposes at 600 dpi. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important in expensive printers. Print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte. That can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memories is helpful and faster. When printing out space with large image or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. image. Ok, veamos las preguntas ahora. Bye. Sleeping. 
Eso se dice, why is color important to some users? Some se escribe y se pronuncia como some. Carlita. Yes, Carlita. Mande, Tisha. Sí, así, así se pronuncia, Carlita. Very good. Ah, ok. What is color import for some users? El color más importante que se usa o que se está usando. So, ¿Dónde está Carlita? Este, estoy, ya estamos con Galileo en las, en lo que son las preguntas. Las preguntas. Ajá, ajá. ¿No? ¿Qué es color import for some user? Um, uh, que arriba estuvo, estuvo diciendo los colores blanco uh, y negro. Varios. Uh, but to print for presentation or maps and not a place where color is part of the information. They say, why is color important for some color? Galileo, are you asking me? In color. Sorry. No, 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 I thought you were asking me. No, sorry, that's okay. Okay. Carlita. Mandeme. Está de acuerdo. Why is color important for some users? The answer is color. Ah, okay. Because some users uh, need to print page for presentation or maps. Another page where color is part of the information. That's the request. That is the answer, I think. Carlita. Sí, es que estoy viendo lo, lo que me está diciendo, estoy buscándolo, pero. <laughs> yeah, color, why is the color, color important for some user? That's in is, white. Is where, where say, say color. Read it where, the, where, read the paragraph with title color. Uh -huh. Color is important for users who need to print page for presentation or maps, another page where color is part of the information. That is the answer to the first question. The question is, what is color import for some users? Sí, esa es la respuesta, Carlito. Donde dice color, dice que el color es importante por algunos usuarios quienes necesitan eh, printar páginas para la presentación o mapas en otras páginas donde el color es parte de la información. Esa es la respuesta. Donde dice color. Color es información. Information, ¿verdad? Ella, así es. What does DPI stand for? Okay, where is the PI? Printer resolution, the charmers of text and information is usually measured in dots per inch. Must it must and expensive? Okay, so what does the PI stand for? Teacher. Hola. What mean stand for? The second um, question. Hit, um, a ver, espérame. Si gusta... Es que no puedo ver la pregunta ahorita. What does DPI stand for? ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué significa stand DPI? Ajá, uh -huh, stand for. No, stand for, I don't know. Uh -huh. right. ¿Qué significa? Eso significa. Ah. ¿Cómo se llama el chuchito? Decía, ¿cuál? Uh, el chuchito. Ajá. Ese chuchito que está ahí, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? Así se llamaba. ¿cuál? Caí. Okay, 51 good. años. Caí. Excellent. What does DPI stand for? 
¿Qué significa? Ok. DPI is that's per inch. That's what means that, teacher. Dots son puntos. Dots. Uh -huh. Dots. Yes. Dots. Puntos, por, puntos por pulgada. Ajá. Dots that's per inch. inch. Yes, yes, yes. Ok. Carlita, entonces la number two. Ahí dice, is usually measure in dot uh -huh. resolu print resolution that's the sharpness of text and imaging of paper. Is usually measure in dot. ¿Qué significa eso? Es usual. ¿A dónde estás, William? Una, es una Pero medición. Démosle. Una medición. Aquí estoy, teacher. aquí estoy. Hola. Resolution. Es que eh. estamos resolviendo la pregunta 2. Ok. Entonces la pregunta sabe, dice: ¿Cuántas DPI están por? Ajá. Y la respuesta tendría que ser: Is usually measure is dot. Pero por the eh, o la respuesta son uh -huh. las dubs por inch. That's right, Carlos, excellent. Porque la pregunta lo que dice es qué, ¿Qué quiere significa? decir o qué, ajá, uh -huh. qué representa DPI. Entonces, ¿qué significa dots per oh, inch? Uh -huh. Per inch. Yes. Que son puntos por pulgada. Pero, excellent. Pero la traducción no sería píxeles, píxeles, no. Sure. Sí. Sí podría ser, Carlos. Okay. 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 Sí. Estamos con la tres. ¿Alguien, ¿Alguien iba a hablar? No, que vamos con la tres, dije. Ah. ¿Por qué las impresoras son más caras? Las impresoras de color. <risa> Así dice, va. En la primera ah. parte está eso. Aquí, okay, color print, more in positive. More expensive. Super. Because is for use to ink cartuchos. Porque usa dos cartuchos. Mm. Mm. Yes. No, porque sabe que presionas a color. <risa> Pero sí. <risa> Use, use more ink. Usa más tinta. Ah, correcto. Use more ink. Vaya, entiendo, dice el color. El color es importante para usuarios que necesitan imprimir páginas para presentaciones o mapas y otras páginas donde el color es parte de la información las impresoras de color también se pueden configurar para imprimir solo en blanco y negro las impresoras a color son más caras de operar ya que usan dos cartuchos de tinta ah pues si sí era uh -huh. Use more ink, cartridges. 
Teacher, ¿cuál es la pronunciación correcta para cartuchos? ¿Qué, qué Carlos? Cartuchos. Just ¿Dónde está? Doing. Cart ¿Dónde cartridge. está la palabra? No la veo. Cart ¿Dónde está? ¿En cuál párrafo? En el primero. Acá. Cartridges. Ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Cartridges. Cart uh -huh. Cartridges. Entonces, because... Used to in cartridges. Uh -huh. sería la respuesta. Okay. What question are you guys working on right now? Las impresoras son más caras. Las colores son más caras. Because we use to in cartridges. Teacher. I don't see the question. Can I see the question? Why I call the printer more expensive? Ah. Uh, uh, color printers can also be set or print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use. Aha. Uh -huh. They are more expensive because they use two ink cartridges. No, se, no sería la respuesta because. Si? ¿Sí? Because you said two cartridges. Uh -huh. You can say color printers are more expensive because they use two ink cartridges. O de una vez, because. Mm -hmm. Cualquiera de las dos está bien. Okay. What, what is something important for someone who prints a lot? It's more cheaper. It's cheaper. It's cheaper, okay. Es más barato. Ajá. Entonces decimos is cheaper. Is. Is cheaper. Hello. Ok. Is cheaper. Mm -hmm. Is cheaper. Cheaper, mm -hmm. yes. Es, es más barato. Mm -hmm. What is the amount of memory that most printer can win? Okay. What is amount? Amount. 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 Uh huh. Ah. Es como cuánto es el monto de la memoria, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. De la impresora. Printers. Los printer con win es un small amount of memory. Coming. Coming. No, ¿cómo es dicho? Which one, Car José Eduardo? Okay. Small. Ah, uh, come small. with. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y no es. O sea, what is the amount of memory the most print? Ah, ¿cuál es el, el monto o la cantidad de memoria que la mayoría de impresoras con la que la mayoría de impresionas, impresoras vienen? Las bajeras. <ríe> ¿Cuál es la cantidad? Juan Giga, güey. Ah, no, ahí dice 600. No, esa es resolución. Ah, sí. No, por aquí está la del giga. No, no. La no solo leyenda. dice, for, for example, one, gig, one megabyte. Ah, ok, aquí está. La respuesta podría no, ser por esa. memory, ve aquí. ¿eh? One month of memory. 
por ejemplo, con Megabyte. Yo no le he prestado atención a una impresora cuánto tiene capacidad. Yeah, me neither. <risa> Pero podría ser esa, one megabytes. Uh -huh. Pero creo que aquí, ahí dice. Sí, es que aquí está. Ahí dice, ve en memory. Most printers come uh -huh. with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte. Printer. Ahí está. Nice. One megabyte. Ahí uh -huh. está. Ajá, y eso, eso puse one megabyte. Uh -huh. All, right. <laughs> All right. Ok, so you guys finish, William, Carlos, and Jose Eduardo, ya? Yeah? Yes, finish, finish. Ok, let's go then. All right, very good. Okay. Okay, guys, so I know you were able to finish the reading. Okay, do you have the answers for the questions? ¿Cómo les fue? Con la lectura. Everything okay? Mal, teacher. Mal, what happened? Mal, Everything okay, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Galileo. Very good. I know. It wasn't, was it difficult? Yes. Yes, teacher. A little bit. Yeah. Okay, very good. Difficult. Teacher, on a question. Yes, Luis Alfonso. With the pronunciation uh, in the color, it's a since. Ah, sin. Ahorita se, la, se lo pongo, permítame. Since, I think it is. Mm, where? In color, yes. Science. Operate science or since science. No lo encuentro. The third line. Tercer párrafo. Tercer párrafo. Tercera línea. Tercera línea. Okay. Oh, ya lo vi, ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Color print, okay. To operate since. Since. Yes. I, I, okay. Yeah, what was the pronunciation before, Luis? Science. No, it's since. Since. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, teacher. Yes, very good. All right, a ver, vamos a, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Voy a tomar asistencia ahorita. Sorry, teacher, sorry, yes, teacher. Yes, Luis, that's okay. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, I heard uh, science, I don't have the uh, uh, science. Science no. is the pronunciation. Uh, no, it's, it's sin, se lo prometo. Sin. All right, teacher. Yes. <laughs> Ajá. Usted dice, desde que lo conozco, since I met you. Okay, no. it's since. Science, science, I don't have you. Yeah, but it's since, Luis. The verdad is since. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Believe me, please, Luis. Uh, yes, no, okay, yes, in Google. Google. I know, no, I know. Google. All right, okay. Vamos a tomar la asistencia ahorita. Mañana, cuando entremos a clase, vamos a hacer la lectura juntos de esto que acaban de hacer. <laughs> Y vamos a check the sentences, ¿ok? So, eh, tomo asistencia ahorita y Luis Manuel, hoy le toca a usted, Luis, yo sé que anda mega cansado, like everybody else, pero 10 minutitos, Luis, ¿all right? Uh, Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodríguez. Teacher, perdón, eh, hablo por Alex, dice que Alex tuvo que salir de San Salvador ahora y creo que por eso es que no se ha conectado, nada más okay. como información. All right, thank you. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Present. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Present. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present, teacher. Edwin Valmore Flores Gómez. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Francisca Elizabeth. Thank you, Francisca Elizabeth Martinez Gámez. I am here. Thank you, Gonzalo Valle Valle. 
Present teacher. José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Present teacher. José Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. Present teacher. Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Norma Lizer Quintana Mancía. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. Present. William Mauricio González García. I'm here. Yolanda Melanie Pérez Enríquez. Ada Karina Cruz García. Present teacher. Thank you. And Ana Karin Solís López. Present teacher. Excellent, guys. Very good. Have a good night. Solo Luis Manuel me regala un ratito, Luis Manuel, and then I'll let you go to sleep. Bye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Continúen con night. sus tareas. Bye. 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 Blanca. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Teacher. Bye. Bye. Hi. Bye. Bye, Karina. Aha, Luis, how are you? No, me, ni le pregunto, Luis. <laughs> how you are? I know you're very tired. Hi, teacher. Hi. Eso es so. <laughs> yeah. All right, very good. Okay, Luis, do you have any questions about anything in English that I want, <laughs> that you want me to help you with? Um, yeah, really, really no, teacher, because... Uh, <laughs> And really, because uh, by me, your class is, is very clear. Okay. Thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> and, and, yes. And, and, and I only need to practice yeah. more some uh, topics. Okay. And, but uh, by me, it's, it's very uh, practice. Okay. And, and and with your class, I I am uh, remember some mm -hmm. uh, topics. Okay. Because uh, tenía bastante tiempo, digamos, de no estudiar inglés. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, entonces, pero sí voy recordando muchos muchos temas que no no okay. los recordaba, verdad. All right, uh -huh. very good. And in your pero, work, uh -huh. dígame, dígame. Y, y, y con, con el, el examen final, teacher, sí. ya lo podemos hacer. Sí, Luis, sí, de hecho ya. Ahora right, la idea es tenerlo, eh, bueno, como vamos a reponer la clase que yo no pude dar por el bajón de internet, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. se va a reponer el, un, el martes 11. Entonces todo tiene que terminarse para el, el fin de semana. De hecho, si usted lo puede hacer ya, <ríe> no habría ningún problema, Luis. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. All right, very good. ¿Y las demás tareas van al día? Eh, sí, yo creo que sí. All right, sí. ok. All right. Sí, porque solo recuerdo que me hacía falta el, el examen final. Ah, ok, super. Uh -huh. All right, very good. Okay. Teacher, igual una pregunta que no sé si, si esa pregunta, digamos, es con usted o, o, o con la gente de, de que coordina esa cuestión. Ajá, pero sí, digamos, quería saber, digamos, por ejemplo, si uno quiere... Eh, ¿Cómo le explico? Digamos, por ejemplo, si el siguiente módulo Ajá. yo no lo quisiera estudiar, pero más que todo quisiera, quizás lo quisiera descansar uh -huh. y retomar después se puede, ¿sabe? Um, sí, o sea, sí se puede en el sentido que eh, para estar inscrito en el siguiente módulo obviamente tiene que haberlo pasado este, ¿verdad? Y haber ah. mandado el papeleo. En el caso que por lo que usted dice, lo quiere descansar en ese caso, eh, obviamente no se mandaría el papeleo, ¿verdad? Pero tendría que estar pendiente para la siguiente campaña de volver a mandar el papeleo para que lo inscriban en el módulo 3. Ah, pero tendría que esperar entonces bastante tiempo. Tiene que esperarse un mes y medio, digamos. Mm. Uh -huh. Porque por lo general, digamos, Luis, eh, que terminamos, por decirle, termináramos el, el viernes, ¿verdad? Sí. Y por lo general, estaríamos hablando de una semana de descanso entre un curso y el siguiente. Más ah, el... pero digamos, pero si se termina, digamos, siempre se dan esa semana de descanso. Esta, sí, esta generalmente, generalmente se ah, da bueno. una. A veces hasta por cuestiones de papeleo o compañeros que no han terminado todo. 
eh, sí. a veces hasta pasan dos semanas, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero uh -huh. por lo general, Luis, siempre se descansa una. Ah, eh, bueno. Y luego ya se continúa, porque si no, descansaría esa semana más lo, lo que dura el curso, que es un mes. Ajá, Entonces, ajá. como que estaría inactivo un mes, una semana más o menos, en el caso. Sí. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Bueno. bueno, le entiendo entonces, teacher. Luis Manuel, and in your work, you, you, can you practice English with your colleagues, with your co-workers? Eh, no, teacher. Oh. Really, no. Okay. Eh, only, I only uh, listen in some uh, music. Okay. And something I watch a TV program in English. Okay. Uh huh. But uh, really, I, I I don't have many time mm -hmm. uh, uh, by to practice right. English. I I would like I would like to to speak uh, with other person, but uh, I I don't have really because it's mm -hmm. it's very intensive. It's very the, demanding your job, right? Yes, teacher. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. Right. But it's it's interesting and yeah. is a very is very nice. Okay. Uh -huh. Do you like it? Yes, I like. <laughs> I like. I I, I love. Yeah, you love, I love my job. job. Yes, of course. Because I I uh, I learn. Mm -hmm. Many things right. uh, every day. That's right. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I and I can uh, know uh, other persons, right. and uh, and I need to to read. I need to to watch uh, other news. Uh, <laughs> news. Yeah. Yes, and 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 the other topics. Yes. Economy. Yeah. Politics uh, is every... everything. Is it's very yes. complete, Manuel. <laughs> yes, yeah. she, it is 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 it's easy, but yeah. It, that's the interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's the interesting thing. All right. Now you said that you work yes. uh you work for Teleprensa. Yes. All right, okay. Yeah. You have always worked there or you have like have you worked somewhere else before? Or only uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because uh, sometimes I uh, I finish my work mm -hmm. uh, later. Okay. Uh, yeah, later. Uh -huh. Yeah. Later. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ajá. Uh, entonces por eso no 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 me permite tener otro otro digamos como empleo a pesar right. de que salgo eh, muchas veces temprano. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Yes, teacher. ¿Y cuánto tiempo lleva allí? Working. En prensa, ¿cómo? Uh -huh. eh, about one year, eh, six months. A year and a half. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But eh, I, I work in, in Megavision. Ah, oh, okay. Before. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. before ah, before I worked okay. in Megavision, about four or five years. years. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and have you ever uh, watched uh, Teleprensa? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Luis Manuel. You know what? My mom, my mother, always says. Tú nunca ves las noticias, and it's true, Luis Manuel, I don't. I really am very honest. I don't watch the news because I don't have time. I'm always I teaching, really... Luis Manuel, always teaching. Really? So it's like, yeah, when I finish teaching, I need to do many other things. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have the time to watch the news, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I understand you. But you uh, are uh, in, in in redes sociales? Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes I watch the news or read the news in the social media. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I promise I will watch your news. <laughs> okay, teacher. 
Very good, Luis Manuel. Thank you so much. Yo sé que está cansado. Go to sleep, go to rest, ¿ok? okay teacher, Thank see you. you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night.